Sit down, please. Read the address. Got Webster, I've got a report in front of me from an ammunition incident that took place following exercise cold steel. And you've signed the CFFE certificate for that brass salvage. Do you remember doing that? Yes, I do, yeah. Is that the certificate that you signed? Yes, sir, it is. Waybridge, possible explosive found in loads. There are certified free from explosive procedures for every situation where ammunition is used or may be discovered. It's vitally important that you understand the procedure that's relevant to each situation. The most common situations are the sorting of brass and scrap, the emptying of ammunition boxes for return, or the clearing of vehicles and other platforms. This form certifies that everything you've checked is 100% free from explosives. And if it isn't, well, it's got your name on it. Before you attach this form to anything, make sure you've done the job properly. Right, okay chaps, so what we're talking about then is X Company's CT2 package, which as we identified yesterday is a 10 day package. Uh, it's quite tight in terms of the training objectives. I just want to be sure before we get into the detail of the programme that um, we have adequate time at the beginning and at the end of the exercise to set them up for success. We may need to take a bite out of the time at the end of the exercise. Yes, more certainly so. In order to facilitate that G4 turnaround, is that right? We need at least, um, I'd say, two hours to make sure that's done correctly. All the vehicles are checked, everybody's kit and equipment is checked, uh, and so the, so the company's out major and the officers that are going to sign the FFE certificates are content. The FFE process is every bit as important as the exercise you've just come back from, and it needs adequate time scheduled for its completion. Once you certify something as free from explosives, a lot of people rely on that for their safety. Done properly, it protects the public, it protects your army mates, and it also protects you. When FFE materials leave the base, it heads via civilian roads, and sometimes even by air to specialist recycling plants. An accidental detonation in any of these areas could disrupt, injure, or in the worst case, cause a fatal injury to those involved in the transportation and recycling of these materials. If a detonation happens on public roads, it could even pose a threat to the general public. But think about the consequences to you. An FFE violation could damage the reputation of your unit. It could even put your military career in jeopardy. I have to inform you that um, a full investigation will now take place. 
and following that investigation, if you're found to be at fault, then disciplinary action will be taken. Do you have any questions from me? Yes, sir. Off you go. Every single CFFE violation is investigated to identify the cause. There can be hundreds of investigations in a year, which all take time and money. So, when you're sorting through ammunition, take your time. Right, whoa, 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 stop. That. Do it again. Be thorough. No, mate, just got some lives here. No, 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 they've been checked. All right, where am I going? Mm. All right, cheers. Stu, I've just noticed this in the bag. Do you know what it is? Yeah, stay it called, mate. Stick it in the light bulb. No way. And if you find something, report it. Don't pretend you haven't seen it. That could help save someone's life and could help save your career. Lads, lads, what were you doing? The weather's getting worse. We're going to pack this away, put it on the truck. We're going back to camp. We'll do it there. Let's go.